Hey, hello, your second try with Wolf Grodek, few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at Windows 10 facial recognition um, and a surprisingly easy bypass that was just found. You know, identity is always a hard thing, right? Uh, in the back, you may see I got a big box. It's the holidays, lots of packages are coming and going. And how do you demonstrate that you're you? You just simply spell out your last name and sign a scribble signature on whatever had FedEx or UPS is asking. Honest, it's me. Give me the full package, right? Give me, give me all the Christmas boxes. I'm sure I'm me. You gotta figure, it's just, it's just a terrible system. And all authentication systems are in one way, shape, or form terrible, <laughs> including facial recognition. So the tip for you is this. If you have Windows 10 in your environment, if you're using Windows facial recognition with Windows 10 in your environment, and if you're in within an Active Directory, Look at the policies for enhanced facial spoofing. Here's why um, a pen test firm, I pronounce it CIS, they may pronounce it differently. A pen test firm in Germany did a uh, uber elite analysis of Windows 10's facial recognition wherein they found the super secret attack of printing a picture of the person's face I can't unlock Windows 10. What are you doing to us, Microsoft? Now, of course, there's a little bit more to it. They gotta manipulate the contrast. They gotta make sure the lines pop. Uh, you may recall that there's a certain zones within the face that make up the password, depending on the recognition. It's equivalent to like a 17 character password, right? Nose and cheekbones and everything. If you make it pop enough, the photo, you make it pop enough with the contrast, it can unlock Windows 10 by default not good. We've seen other things like this way back when with those facial zones they did a brute force attack uh, those announced in DEF CON which is uh, against um, like Toshiba's and IBM's one on their facial recognition. Obviously everyone and their brother are right now playing with um, <laughs> apples and trying to get it up but uh, this is the first one I've seen completely breaking Windows 10 um, and and of course it's a it's a major problem. It's pretty easy to take a photo. It's pretty easy to adjust the contrast. It's pretty easy then to, to use that to log in with someone. So Microsoft has this feature, new builds called enhanced anti-spoofing. Um, why they don't just make that the normal anti-spoofing? I'm not sure. One presumes it's probably got a little bit low, probably got a little delay, those types of things. Um, but it can be turned on. It's not on by default. I can't. Why it's not on default? Seems hard. Um, but thankfully, not only can you turn it on, but it's also you can turn it on in group policy, which means you can push it out to all your Windows boxes, which is why I'm saying to you, if you're running Windows 10, if it's in your environment, you got AD. Look up the group policy setting, flip it on, so that those super secret hackers with their photocopiers can't get in your network. What do you think about the facial recognition, just in general? Comments, social media, hit me up. Cheers.